boy on, but he's uh, a little bit nervous right now. But he needs some help with some mobile setup. He got a Honda Accord um, that he's going to be using. So he had a couple of questions that he wanted to ask on how to build his mobile setup um, using a four-door car with water system. Um, also, just how to actually set it up. Hey, what's going on? Complete mobile detail. I appreciate you, man. Thank you for joining I'm about to join right now. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Hey, what's going on, man? What's going on, man? Hey, not much. You know, just bringing the brothers together, bringing everybody together. What's up, OJ? Can you see me? <laughs> yeah, I, I can see you. I can see you. Okay, I can hear you well. okay. okay. Right. And what's going on? Ain't nothing much, man. Just like I said, just trying to bring the brothers together. Just you know what I mean. All right. Everybody to chop it up, you know. Right, right. What? Where y'all from? I'm from CT. I'm from Kansas City. Where you from, OJ? I'm from Cali. Where? Cali. Okay. What part? Northern Cali. Already. Show you right. I'm by, uh, near Oakland. Where? Oh. Where? Where? How long yeah. you detailing for? See, I've been doing them going on five years wow. now. Oh, wow, that's what's up. Yeah, five years. But how you, how you got started into business, man? Man, I sell cars. You know, my family been around cars for a long time and like detailing. So when I, I, I used to pay guys come to the lot back in the day to clean them, and they do a horrible job. They charge you back then was like fifty or sixty dollars a car. You know what I mean? Right. And I'm like, man, right. I'm gonna try this shit. So one day I just did. It. I was doing it out of a, a Grand Prix back in 2012. Yeah, yeah, like 2012. Yeah. And see how the money was. The money was, you know what I mean? Back then was 50 or 60. I'm like, man. So Gee, over the time. Dude. What's up, bro? Over yo, the time, yo. I'm like, fuck it. Then I yo. started doing the marketing. Motherfuckers charging two or three hundred, 150 for interior. I'm like, shit, yo. this is where the money at. You know what I mean? I'm like, shit. Had to go with that. Right. How long y'all been doing it? Uh, it'd be four years, June 20th. June 20, man, that's what's up. <laughs> that's what's up. Yeah. yeah. For me, I've been years, detailing man. since 1993. <laughs> <laughs> oh, day in the game. <laughs> man, bro. Uh, OG. <laughs> man, OG for real. Yeah. But I've been, so, I've been mobile. Like, I've, been mobile. I've been mobile for five years. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I got a similar story to yours. You know. I'm the youngest sibling, and then, you know, I got four other brothers. Right. And, uh, and as growing up, my grandfather always bought my brother's cars when they graduated high school. Straight up. And so, you know, they always clean their own cars and, you know, kept them clean. And, you know, I used to sit there and watch, man. Right. Got to the point where I got old enough to help. Got to the point where I got my own vehicle and started cleaning, cleaning my own car because that's what I grew up on. That's what I seen. That's what I right. knew. So. Right. My passion and my love transitioned into detailing. Just be off, off, off of that because right. of, of what I grew up on. My first job was a detailer for a BMW company. And I got that job just because I had the reputation in the neighborhood for cleaning cars. of cleaning cars. Right, right, right. So that's been, hey, that's been, that was my start. And I ain't stopped, you know right. what I mean? You know, right. I didn't I venture off to other things, but yeah. it's always been a, a passion and a love of mine. So, Man, you know, right. my fire burn a little different than other people right. for, for 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 this industry right, right, right. in this business. So, you know, that's that's just my story on it. That's, you know, it's good. Hey, that's just, you know, you know, we, we gotta hear the story, man. Everybody told their story. We gotta hear your story, yeah. Carlos. Oh man, I've been I've been detailing. We're going on total twenty four years, I think. Wow. Um, in in sure. business uh, seven, um, but I started back in two thousand and one when I was like in eighth grade, um, and that was my first job. And I stayed at the at the car wash, the, my only job for seventeen years. Um, and then uh, I finally decided just to start my own thing. So you know, it kind of like you know, it's like wax. You know, it's, we got a different fire burning for us because it's like. I think we're in it for that long haul. Like we love it, you know. Um, right. We want to make the best of it. Um, but you know, I think time takes its toll eventually, you know. And it's like you gotta start seeing, you know, what's gonna work best for your business, you know. But yeah, we're we're going on twenty four years. 
That's what's up. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Word. I got a, I got a question for you, OJ. You say you've been doing this since '91. What's the? I know you've seen a lot of change in this thing. Oh Ooh. my God! I, have a, I mean, put it like this: Every, everything we did back then was by hand. Yeah. Yeah. Don this Yeah. Everything. 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 Everything was done by your hands. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. It wasn't until I got to the BMW dealer, it's yeah. when I officially put a polisher in my hand. Damn. Hey, I'm going to tell you like, like this. I didn't even know what I was doing with this polisher. <laughs> I <laughs> had, <laughs> had no the idea of what I was going to do with this polisher. I had a, I, 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 you know, I got an idea of how it worked. Right. I, you know, I, I, I have watched it. But for as you know, mentally, I don't know what I'm doing. So, my right. guy that was training me, this is what he did. He walked over to me. I'll never forget it. It was a red 700, a 750 BMW. i never forget it. He walked over to me. He handed me a Stanley Rotary Polisher. Mm -hmm. And he, told, he looked at me. He said, don't fuck this car up. And walked off. Uh, damn. Uh, I'll say. That's how it be. That's I'll say, you know what? I'm going to figure uh, this out. <laughs> and by the grace of God, man, I guess it was just, you know, my passion and my love for it. I figured it out. And I damn sure didn't want to fire it on my resume. Right. <laughs> <That's for real. laughs> you know, so, so I figured it out, bro. I figured it out. You know? <laughs> and, 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 uh, that's a, that's a long time. <laughs> I was hey, sorry. I figured <laughs> it out, bro. And the, and, the, and, the, and the beat and the beat went on. You know what I mean? I was like, man, wow, bro. I was like, you know, it's it's amazing that some of the things you can learn under pressure. Yeah, yeah, for real. Yeah. I mean, you, you know what I'm saying? Pressure, I mean, you know, because at that, pipes. At that, that time, time I, I just, at that time I just had a newborn. My son was just born. You know, I got to keep the money coming in. You know what I'm saying? I'm. I'm the breadwinner, you know what I mean? Man, bro, I, I had to figure it out. I figured it out fast, though. When right he came right. back, you know, he was like, it was, was like, not not bad. He's like, you know, I see some, some things that could have been done better, but not bad. Boy, I'm right. you talking about a relief. Well, I was like, whew, whew. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I passed that. I, I passed that test. You know, I, was, I was proud of myself. Hey, here, you know, when I, I, I told when myself how to polish a car. While well, back, I had a, uh, a 88 Mustang on some Davids. It was in the car show. I said, man, I was low on fun. I spent all my money on this car. Right. I said, man, fuck right. this shit. <laughs> I'm about to learn how to polish. It's my car. I fuck it up. Can't get blamed yeah. for nothing. Just kick right. myself in the head. I had, right. my, I had a dude from the neighborhood who used to de uh, detail for Cadillac. So he came. He sent me doing it. I used that one big old polisher, you know, from Walmart, the one you used to be bouncing around. The <laughs> 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 hey, but I say the car, the car was fucked up. I ain't gonna lie. It was fucked up. But he came and fixed it for me. He just showed me the basic shit. Like, he said, man, listen, you can't stay on certain spots too long. You got a white, don't do it in the sun. Yep. There's a lot of shit I didn't know, you know what I mean? Like like he said, if you're gonna take the detail and shit, you got, you got to make sure this shit, treat their cars like it's your car. That's what, that's, what I'm saying. that's what I be doing. Yeah. Uh, um, a lot of cats, you know, don't realize, man, when you're using that polisher, you don't have to use a lot of product either. Right. Nope. I be, for, for be, I be seeing cats dials they pad down. I mean, then they be wondering why their pad is all clogged up in there. Uh huh. Uh, man, yeah, yeah. bro. Oh, my God. When you we could go on. We can go on in days. You know, you, yeah, I love to see good detailers, man. They're still in the game, and man, I salute all oh, yeah, man. Like all good brothers, man. Like man, it, it, people don't understand, it's not an easy job. It's hard. No, it's very hard. It's, it's, it's hard. hard. Especially yeah, this, 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 this is this is this is hard labor. This yeah. labor work, yeah. bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and, and you know and. When you become a veteran and you got so much time in this business, it comes to a point, man, where you got to make people respect your pricing yeah, yeah, yeah. and your craft because, it's bro, work. you know, as details, I'm quite sure Carlos can, 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 you know, vouch for this. Man, you get so many phone 
calls, inboxes, DMs, questions about. Yeah. And, you know, it gets to the point where, man, you know, I don't mind helping people, but all this knowledge that I had to gain on my own for these years and this time, I just can't sit there and give it to you for 30 minutes for free. Fuck you got to get out there and, and, and take your bumps and bruises, too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it comes True. to a it comes to a point in time where you know I'm like, bro, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get paid. I gotta get paid for my time <laughs> and my knowledge. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, it is what it is at that point. In the nah. that's, customers, that's very true. With customers too, man, I, I learned from them. You don't, you get them. The ones that want to bargain all the time, and they send you a picture of a car. The car is bad, like. Bad, hey. you know what I mean? Then, then you be like, hey, man, Carlos, you shouldn't, you shouldn't, you shouldn't the price. You be like, you shouldn't the price. Well, I only got eighty dollars. Like what? <laughs> like what? I can't do nothing for eighty dollars. You know what I mean? No, no maybe, maybe, maybe Carlos can fill you in on some info on that. Carlos, Carlos <laughs> man, man. Nah, I'm, 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 I'm observing. I'm listening. You know, I, I love to listen, most importantly. Um, but, I they mean, said, when you're, when you're starting here... They said blink twice if you want to say. But, yeah, I mean, as a, as, a starting, <laughs> as a starting business, you're always going to have those customers that, you know, um, that are always going to price hassle you. And that's that's okay. That's that's the beginning stages, like, of your business. I remember when I started my business, you know, and I quit my job. I was charging. We were at fifty dollars for a full interior, uh, interior detail, exterior wash. Right. Um, obviously, I had no money saved, so I needed to. I needed to get that money, right? But as your business progresses, um, you start raising your pricing, um, and what that's going to do is um, is going to start eliminating those cheap customers because you are right. starting to raise your price and you're starting to raise your quality. Um, to where you're starting to weed out kind of like the cheap customers, right? Those cheap customers will tend to resort to more of the cheap detailers. Um, and the only way to scale your business up is really raising your price um, because it's just part of business, you know? Yeah. Um, I started at $50 and, you know, now my interior detail, it starts at 350 Dang. you know? And that's just, that's based on the condition, like um, right. depending on the condition it's going to be born right um i just did a vehicle today that was kind of in a very worst case scenario um and you know that one was priced pretty premium um but now it's pretty much once you get to a stage in your business that it's like people are starting to pay mostly your brand your your quality and that's what you're charging in the beginning yeah i would take everything because i needed it but as you start leveling up you start being picky with who you're bringing into or who you're catering to. Right, right. Um, <laughs> and I know for me and my business, I mostly cater to people who are looking to get their interiors clean. So on average, you know, my customers are ranging from 400 up to 800 $1,000 for an interior. That's what's up. Yeah, Car hey, where, what, Carlos, where you based out of? Uh, I'm in Dallas. In Dallas, you eight hours from me. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah, you're in Kansas, right? Kansas City. Kansas City. Kansas. See, <laughs> my my uh my neighbor is from uh, Kansas City. Oh yeah. She just oh, recently different. moved over here. She's a huge Kansas City Chief. Oh yeah. That, that, that number one squad right there, man. Yeah. You, anyway, <laughs> stuff, man. I like his channel, Carlos. He got a very good YouTube channel. Very oh, humble. Yeah. You you your channel, man. Oh yeah. me? Carlos, you got a YouTube channel? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. man. I, love it. I do. I'm I appreciate it, bro. I appreciate it. Like, even his lives, he go live every morning, man. Like all his tips that he do, they, they, I don't know. For some reason, every tip that he do on his live, bro, I, I put it in motion, and it worked. You know what I'm saying like it worked. I'm here you to know, make you money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it worked, bro. Home always give helpful tips. You know what I mean, so appreciate him for that. <laughs> Hunter, where you at? Bro, in here, Hunter. Or Hunter left. Yeah. I see Hunter in here somewhere. <laughs> Where my boy left? <laughs> Where you went, man? I got to tag him again. <laughs> yeah, there you go. He in there. Oh, I got a few of my buddies in here. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know cool. how we, man, we've been family for years, man. We've been doing this thing off and on. And, you know, I want to just bring everything back because it's a lot of detailers that's coming up. 
and I'm getting a lot of inboxes. I'm getting a lot of questions. So I say, you know what? Why not just bring everything back? Um, you know, just a great platform for everybody to connect, ask questions here. Um, we can help everybody out as much as possible and, you know, have have a good laugh every Monday, you know? Right. Every Monday. It'd be cool. <laughs> yes, sir. Every Monday, man. You know, we do this. Yeah. I mean, boy fanatics he got a uh a honda Accord set up he was trying to get some questions on how to set up a, a honda core for mobile detailing he don't have a van or anything like that so. my hey, best advice is him hey, honda cores they be coming out nice bro them setups yeah. they be doing on the honda cords yeah. ridiculous bro okay. i told you yeah. that is watching these videos the honda court be right so yeah. Ford, vibes Ford, vibes or, does some Freaking killer setup, vibes detailing out of. Uh, I think he's in, is he in Cali? Mm. No. Mm. Vibes. But he ships. He ships all over the U.S. Oh wow! Oh, oh, you talking about Revive? Revive. That's his name. Yeah, I said Vibes. My bad. Revive. Yeah, that dude's killer setup, dude. Yeah, he's in Cali. What's good, Ricardo? How you been? Oh, I'm doing. Doing good. I'm doing good. See, I did. Well. <laughs> well it's kind of slow for me for the summer because the, the weather's like it's like a lot of rain like going to summer like you know yeah. miami very like a bipolar weather so right, 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 right. yeah we're looking at like like a hurricane season here so um okay. things going gotta go a little down but, you know to get prepared right. for it <laughs> yeah right 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 yeah. Yeah, it's been, it's been crazy. That's crazy. Hey, um, yeah. the, uh, a lot of rain, uh, storm too, right? I'm coming, bro. Yeah. I literally, I did a whole interior today, and literally, like within the next hour that I finished this, it, freaking pouring out here, bro. I was like, bro, it took me five, five hours. Yeah, I, don't, uh, like, I think five hours. See, y'all don't get none of y'all don't get snow, huh? Yeah, I guess snow. Nah. Guess if we do, it's working in it's snow. minimal. Man, I'll be work man, I'll be working in the damn snow, man. That should be cold as a motherfucker yeah. out here. Nah, it'd be crazy cold. <laughs> nah, here we'll get maybe like an inch, like an inch of snow and they shut everything down. God, that, that yeah, that hurts. hurts. <laughs> <laughs> that hurts. I think the world coming to an end down uh, there, huh? Bro, I think we yep. call it the Alaska over here. Yeah. And that's hard, man. Dealing with the water in the snow, man. Yeah. It freeze a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Are on the heat running, yeah, like mm -hmm. crazy spray of chemicals is freezing up out on the carpet. It's crazy. The panels be What's the temperature you don't work crazy. below? At what <laughs> oh, temperature yeah. you're you turn, like, I'm not gonna work your water like, system on that like 35. The trigger, 35? Yeah. Yeah. Where you bust your 35, I'm straight. You got yeah. up that pump. <laughs> yeah. 35, I'm good. <laughs> crazy. Yeah, man. My boy Chef O tried to get me out there in like 32 degrees. Chef O over there laughing. Heck no. I was I had no bullshit. Do it. Hey, when I was then he got, his, he got his stainless steel food truck. I said, there's going to be a brick of ice in there. <laughs> Hot weather, man. Nasty, uh, man. Hey, that's my busiest time, though, the winter. Yeah. 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 I, I, I prefer the winter. I prefer the winter. Yeah, we get a lot yeah. of interior in the winter. A lot of interiors. Yeah, yeah but a lot of interiors. Like, I, I, I me and my team, we would be booked out for like three weeks straight in the winter. People like, down here, your business is picking up. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's Price goes up, up too. too. <laughs> yeah, fucking right. <laughs> Price goes up in the winter. Yeah. I, I, you know, um, I'm serious. No, oh, man, two or three prices. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Yeah, once winter hits, prices go up because mm -hmm. yeah. at that point you're 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 dealing with you could get hypothermia, um, yeah, everything. and nobody wants to wash their cars. Yeah. So in the winter, you get more busy because yeah. nobody wants to wash their cars, so they call you, you know, right. and you take care of it. <laughs> um, in the summer, obviously, my pricing kind of stays back to normal, but in the winter, yeah, we raise it up. Oh yeah. There's this guy on TikTok, bro. I don't know if you follow if y'all follow him. I recently started watching him. The dude's funny, mm -hmm. but he they does do concrete. I don't know. He does concrete. And he'll be like, "You see this bush? Yeah, this bush is uh, it scratches me or something. So for because of that, that's five hundred dollars added yeah. to the bill." <laughs> uh, I, I seen that. Yeah. <laughs> you see that fire? He's like, "You see that? Uh, what do you say? That uh, uh gas meter?" 
That's that's a hazard pay. That's another five hundred dollars. Jeez, let me show you how I made like ten thousand dollars in this job. It is just add ons after add ons. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Can you guys share, uh, Steve Ten says, can you guys share some nuggets on talking to customers? Know your packages, know your cost, so when your customer asks you, your price is going to be a back real fast. Hey, yo, I know, Carlos, I got a question for you. You on Google too, right? Nah, nah, I'm on Facebook only. Facebook? Okay. I don't got no, I don't have no Google. Well, I have Google, but I don't use it. I don't have no ads, no marketing, no nothing. Strictly Facebook. If you ask Carlos about Google, he would tell you, I hate it. You don't like Google reviews. Uh, that, that's the bad none of that. <laughs> that. <laughs> hey. <laughs> See, I, I, I started with Craigslist back in the day. Craigslist. Now it's Facebook and Instagram. Now I'm on Google. Google pretty good. You just gotta. It's just too many scam calls on that on that stuff, man. Yeah. I mean, I think we're living a different generation, and what I mean yeah. by that is all the new detailers. They're all about the 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 tech, the the next paying for ads, yeah. paying for marketing, yeah. Yeah. paying for Google. Um, because the new detailers, they're not trying to put in the work, right? They want it done here and there. Yeah. You know, as to for me. I think for me, it's I'm very old school. I, how I book my customers, I literally take a screenshot of my phone. I circle dates with my phone, and I'm saying, these are the dates I have available. These are the times yeah. I have available. And they book it. I have had zero issues, but I know that everybody's like, bro, you need an app. You need to get um, this um, this app that handles all your customers, all your scheduling, and all. I I don't I don't like that because it takes away the the true customer service factor for me. I love texting all my customers. I love telling them like, hey, I'm on my way. I don't need somebody or a, a computer sending it to my customers. I want to have that option to do it. Um, but you know, I know that we're living in a different time to where everybody, it's on YouTube and they're telling you, you need to pay for ads, you need to pay for marketing, you need to pay for Google or all this stuff. For me, it didn't work. And I, that's why I strictly, I'm strictly on Facebook. I advertise on my Facebook page all day and we're going on seven years of word of mouth, of, you know, people calling me. And I can say that for me, Facebook has worked. Word of mouth has helped a ton. Um, and I know they're saying that. I know a lot of people say word of mouth is going to die. You need to do this, do that. I'm going on seven years of strictly word of mouth. Hey, call this dude. This is our guy. If you want it, if I've had detailers send their customers to me because they don't want to do their interiors, you know? So uh -huh. here in Dallas, when there's a disaster detail, I'm probably one of the few that tackles them and takes them. Obviously, they pay well, sure. but you know, people just don't want to put in the work. Crazy. Yeah, that's true. A lot of, <laughs> a lot of, a lot of people want to be rich overnight, but don't want to put the work in. Facts. You know what I mean? Yeah. You gotta, put, you gotta, you gotta go through the struggle. You gotta go ups and downs. Anything. Um, Whatever. you can have your, you can have your Facebook connected to your Instagram. So every time you post on your IG, it goes yeah. directly to Facebook. Oh yeah. Um, and even on uh, Facebook, you can do that too, where, um, yeah. when you post, it'll ask you, do you want this to go to Instagram? Uh, and it'll let you, but obviously if you're trying to use Facebook, um, I started with Facebook business page. I have, I think over like a hundred, a hundred reviews on there. Um, but I think for the past two years, or no, for the past like four years, I've strictly just used my own personal Facebook page, and I just, I don't advertise. I literally will just post pictures of my work, and that's it. I don't say, call me, book now. I don't use none of those words. I just want you to see my work, and curiosity is going to do its job, right. right? And the more you post, the more you post on your Facebook, it's going to start catching your customers' attention, your audience. They're going to be like, damn, like, okay, so what's he do? And eventually what's going to happen is one of your viewers on Facebook is going to literally inbox you and it's like, hey, bro, um, I saw you post this um, this vehicle. You know, I'd love some information on what you did, right? And then that's how you start getting traction. Um, but for me, you know, just strictly posting on Facebook has really been like my, my best friend. Um, but I know like for other people, like Google has worked a ton. You know, I know right now a lot of people are chasing the Google reviews <coughs> and all of that. Um, for me, true. I really don't care about the Google reviews um, yeah. because 
word of mouth has taken me so far, you know. But if 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 it's all honesty, right now you're in the era of Google reviews. You need the Google reviews. Um, you need the um, you need the marketing. You need the ads. Uh, TikTok is now a big a big hit. So a lot of okay. retailers are transitioning over to TikTok. Um, they're doing lives like literally from sunrise to sunset. Um, oh. I'm like, bro, do y'all not have a life? But um, it, it's a different era from when we started detailing. Oh, yeah. You know, like Wax was saying, you know, the question you had asked Wax and, and you told him, you know, what was one thing that's different now? It's back then we learned everything by hand. Yeah. Now, if a detailer, something breaks, they don't know what to do. They, so they, they literally will close down because they can't think the process through. As for me, if my extractor yeah, breaks down, true. okay, we're gonna rethink everything. Let me go look for a, a wet vacuum. Let's let's use that as an extractor. Yeah, um, I don't have a vortex. I don't have a tornado. Okay, I'm gonna turn my vacuum around, put it on the blower, no. blower side. We're gonna blow the car, right? No. That's a different era yeah. that we're that I came yes. from. I had to work hard yes, to where I, I having know, these I know, tools. I know, I know you I know you guys probably. Use Don dishwasher liquid with a, a bucket of water back in the day. Hey, oh, let's go. Was a, with a scrub brush. <laughs> I know a lot of people say bad about Don, but when you man, dilute that product, long magic, today, man. I told my wife uh -huh. long today. I said my real wag was a, a house dishwasher right with Jinchy Wash. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The, the, the mm -hmm. technology has evolved, you know, and it's it's it's, okay. it's something that okay. I I tell a lot of detailers. It's like unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Times have changed to where everybody now is resorting strictly to what they see on 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 YouTube or yep. stuff like that, right? That when there's no detailer out there that really tells you, all right, guys, if this breaks, this is what you can do, right? And that's kind of how my my YouTube channel is kind of like that. It's like, okay, guys, look, this broke. Look, let's use this. Let's let's resort to this blower, right? This is gonna get the job done, right? Um, but doing everything by hand many years ago is what's the game changer for me now because it's like if something breaks i can literally think things through to know like okay you know let's yeah. think outside the box what do i have on here right um for instance i didn't have a steamer back then i couldn't afford one so but what i did have was an iron from my house so that was my steamer back in my day you know i would i would grab a towel a towel damp towel put it on top of the seat steam it and then i would just iron that seat up real good and then i'll come back with my wet vac and then I was just extracting the water. You know, that was my steamer back in the day. Um, which, if my steamer breaks today, I'll go right back to that same method. There's many ways to it's, do it's things. It's actually better. It's, a, it's actually better. better. Be because of the heating element, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Man, I just started using a steamer probably a year and a half ago. Oh, Has it made your job, job easier? Made, it made it a lot easier. But I'm so old school with it. Some days I don't use it. You know what I mean? So There's old. days that you don't need to use your uh, your steamer because cars are so well maintained that you can literally just blow it off or something. Yeah. Right. I just got I, me a, tool, I just got a generator, not a generator, but a uh, air compressor, what, two years ago for the torn door. I want to make it in the oven, but I never make it, so I want to. Yeah, it's so, much, it's so much stuff coming in at one time. Hold on. We're trying to catch up here, guys. Hold on. That's crazy. I honestly wouldn't even know what to do in that situation, being honest. Oh, when something breaks down. Yeah, you yeah. Figure it out, man. It, 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 comes, it happens so much. Okay. You know, like, I remember. Like, I had a generator break down in the middle of a job. What do you do? You know what I'm saying? Like, yo. Yeah. And I know for hunters, for sure, Google. I think for hunters, Google has worked really, really well. Because I've seen, like, his, his feedback on... Google has been a major, like a good hit for him. Like I'm still trying to figure out Google. I think I just gave up. I was like, nah, this ain't. I'm going strictly. I'm gonna stay at Facebook. Like that's where I feel happy. <laughs> um, here's a question. Uh, if you could pick two, pla oh, I think that uh, uh, Hunter's answered that one. If you could pick two platforms to advertise, which two would you use? Hunter said Google and Facebook, which probably would be the main. Well, for me, would be. Instagram hasn't done much for me. Um, TikTok, uh, I'm not really on it. I'm only on okay. Facebook, so I, I honestly would say Facebook. I'm going to it. For me, I would say uh, um, Google and Instagram. Um, yeah. And I, I don't really include the Facebook because it's included through the yeah. post. So cause they, they both kind of do the same thing. You know I mean? No, for me, it's Google and Facebook. 
yeah. Instagram. I get every bus out on Instagram. Yeah. But I got my Instagram connected to my Facebook, but I can't I can't grow I can't hit off of Instagram, but Facebook, that's what ninety percent of all my clients come from. The other ten probably come from uh Google. Google, I'm saying Google. My boy said Instagram is the best. Yeah, I got Instagram and, and uh, Google for me. Yeah. yeah, Hunter said a good one is a new thing. Recently, well, this year started to have more scammers, like people just posting, like, we just moved to the area. Yeah. Our business is slowing down. Yeah. This year has Man, been a big year for that. My wife just yeah. Did Bro, it Man. is the same pictures and all of them. I'll be like, what kind of steamer is that? Right. Yeah. <laughs> then they then they put down there DM me if y'all interested. In they say DM me or inbox me, <laughs> the, the scammer. Oh yeah. That's why I just start blocking people. I'm like, man, I'm not about to block this. Correct? I'm gonna I'm right. block that person. But yeah, it's a lot of scammers, man. Like a lot. That's sad. What's your best? If, if the mess if, like if, if the one. if the message starts with "Hey, how you doing?" That's a scammer. I like yeah. that one. Yeah. What 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 tire shine y'all prefer using? Oh, cool. What's your best tire shine? Tire shine? I'm not really a tire person. Like tires don't excite me. Right. But if I do, it's local. It's called it's from Drive Auto Appearance. Uh huh. Yeah, but tire shine. I don't really. As long as it's it's good, I have a I got a water based one and I got a silicone based one. Um. I mean, as long as I got good tire shine, bro, I don't really care. You know what I mean? So I, I use a pure, I use a pure aqua gloss. I've been using them for. Oh, years. Aqua, yeah, those aqua gloss. Yeah, yeah, aqua, yeah, aqua, aqua gloss is. Yeah, that's good. You'll always do well with aqua yeah, gloss. I, I use for my It's been years too. though. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Dilute right. that sucker one to one, and you're yeah. good to go. Look at yeah. you, boy. Look, boy. Look. <laughs> yeah, I like the aqua gloss. <laughs> I yeah, like use it out of a. Next question. <laughs> yeah, I prefer to spray a white tie shine. Uh, 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 P PNS, man. I just right. like I, 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 I like bomb. I use flat. I like the PNS. You, look, 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 stop buying flex. Stop buying PNS bomber, PNS all this. Just go one brand. Go flex products, and that's it. But PNS. nah, I'll just jokes aside. I'll jokes aside. Uh, PNS is a great brand. Yeah. It's marketed very, very well. Right. I think for the starter detailer, it might not be a good um, financial because some of their stuff can get pricey. Yeah. Um, but I've, I've been using PNS, um, the threesome, the carpet bomber, the Terminator, um, for a product review. Kind of, I really wanted to test it out and see what I thought about it. Um, you know, and my final input on it is it did its job, right? For a lot of the, um, for a lot of the maintenance vehicles or clean cars, yeah, I would probably go PNS. I ended up doing a test that I did not, I didn't put it on, on YouTube, but I used the carpet, uh, I used the PNS system to do a, um, upholstery, and then I came back with my extractor with water only. And I extracted that seat because I wanted to see, okay, how much did I get out with just doing this little wiping off? Right. Um, and there was a lot of stuff still coming out of that seat, unfortunately. So what that told me was, okay, yeah, we're, we're, we're cleaning the surface, but are we truly cleaning the material, right? Um, and I may post the video, but I just felt like it's a great product for, it has a scenario. But if I'm truly going to tell a customer, like, we're going to extract your interior with it, and a lot of detailers are strictly going with PNS, right. right? We're only just spraying it, agitating, and wiping it off with the towel, and we're getting just that surface dirt. Um, but where is the true dirt? It's really beneath the surface, which is like the foam. And, yeah, we may not have these powerful extractors to remove all that grime out, but what the extractor is really removing a lot of that grime and you know i couldn't knock the product down because it did its job it cleans the interior but when i came back with an extractor for this test and i was getting a lot of the stuff coming back like coming out i was like ooh, i don't know you know but it works the pns works like the only stuff i don't like from pns would be break buster I hate that. um excuse my language that's that's water <laughs> that's bro that does not yeah, do nothing like to wheel. Down, i don't care man. what nothing I don't care what anybody says. If they advertise it as the best wheel cleaner, nah, quit lying <laughs> to yourself. Um, I tried it. 
And trust me, I tried it and I was like, bro, what am I doing wrong? And I would use it straight and I would, I like to use products that I can literally spray on a wheel, on a wheel, let it sit for a little bit and pressure wash it off. And it gives the majority of the grime off. I, I, With Brake Buster, brand I had to week. agitate. I tried, I tried this brand last week called uh, Wheel Mag or something like that. Wheel Mag mm. off of Amazon. Mm. Man, Wheel acid, mag. Acid. Um, acid. Oh, acid cleaner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, that stuff works phenomenal, bro. Oh, yeah. Anything acid. Anything acid. Yeah. Bro, acid is going to get the job done. Of course. Of yeah. course. I sprayed it I sprayed it on the rim. I had some real dirty, uh, real bad rim. I sprayed it. I let it sit like they said. And then I sprayed it off. And, man, it made it look shiny, man. I'm like, why? Yeah, because I was using brake yeah. buster for like a month. You like, want to yeah, dilute Gordon that? Said, I'm like, man, what I'm doing wrong? I'm diluting it wrong or something? I'm cutting it wrong? Like, I use it straight? Nah, I gave yeah. that shit away. That's yes, sir. That, though, trust me, I've been, yeah. I, I switched over to the Atom. Man. Um, and I have that sucker good. on uh, I have it on Amazon monthly, bro. Every every two weeks I okay. get a new gallon, even though I don't need it, but I'm just stocking up, bro. Right. That Adam's wheel and tire cleaner, bro, I kid you not. You literally will spray it, let it dwell, pressure wash, bro, and it will take majority of that grime in one hit. For real? How much uh, how, how much the price range on? Uh the gallon is like twenty four ninety nine, I yep. think. Nice. So well, it is, man, it, bro. <laughs> you you need to try that with the atoms, bro. That's that's all yeah. I use now. It's literally just spray on, let it dwell, pressure wash off, dude, and, and you're done. Man, do you like that beat maker by PNS? Hell nah. <laughs> I used to like it because it was orange. My yeah, my, my favorite like color is orange, so <laughs> it smells great. And beat yeah. maker was truly number one in in a lot of, like it was top tier. But what tends to happen, I feel like bead makers started kind of downgrading. And now there's so many new companies coming out with that same product that is probably beating much crazier with with their with their system. Um, but bead make yeah, PNS started great, and I think PNS is here to stay. It's not gonna go anywhere just like McGuire's. Yeah, but bead makers started great and then I slowly was like, nah, this ain't for me no more. Like it just was not performing. Right. I think bead maker is more of a quick detailer in my opinion, but I know a lot of people say like it's more, you know, it gives you that gloss, it gives you that protection. Um, I'll use it as a quick detailer real quick. Um, smells great. Um, I use it on the windshields a couple times. It looks decent for the windows. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's there's a lot of good products out, you know, but yeah. I think when we get into the brands, you're always gonna have a battle because you know some of each other are gonna say PNS is the way. Um, I'm, I'm I don't have a brand to say like oh I'm strictly PNS. I'm not. I don't have. I'm an open agenda. But like, like if you I, look at a lot of I my videos, yeah. Tomorrow, actually, that uh that Formula Four, I'm gonna get some tomorrow. Formula Four, Four uh, superior product. Yeah, I'm gonna get some tomorrow. I'm about to show you what's this shit called. Some more Dark Fury, some Formula Four. Hey, Dark uh, Fury is the goat. Yeah. Her Dark Fury is the goat. Bro, yeah. like that That's good for wheels, defender. tires, um, pre spray. Hey. Yeah, you can you can use it for You a can lot. use that thing for yeah, everything, bro. It's a multi inspiration use. defender. What's that do? Oh, it's SIO two? I'm sure it's good. Anything with yeah. SIO two is pretty good. It's pretty I've good. seen some videos. Everybody's saying good things about it. I haven't tried it's it. Good. It's pretty good. It got a it got a nice smell to it. Yeah, the, yeah. The, a nice smell. It, it, and it, yeah, when I sprayed it on there, it, it says it's like a beat maker, and it's mm. like a paint protection too. So oh, no. better than a beat maker. Uh huh. I get that, Carlos. Uh, question, Carlos. You got an expression. What's your favorite spray wax for your everyday? Uh, Spray wax, uh, ceramic gloss by DIY. Hold on, send that to me, Carlos. I can remember that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ceramic gloss is fire, bro. It's been my favorite. Um, I use it as an everyday, like just quick detailer. But I just, I don't know. I there's so many products out in the market, man, and it's like you have to find what's gonna work for you. I know, like in the beginning stages of your business, you're gonna buy everything you see on YouTube, mm -hmm. guaranteed. You know, but I think you have to truly listen to those who are in it for the right reason. You know, um, I might get in trouble for what I'm about to say, but it's like I think many of us detailers on YouTube, some are doing it for just their finance reasons yeah. because this is the best. Please go buy it. Right. Use my code. And I fall under that category because I also I get discount codes, but I don't recommend something that it's like if you don't see me using it strictly on my setup Monday through Friday. 
you is that that's the only stuff I'm gonna recommend. And I'm gonna tell you buy this because I truly believe in that product and I use it daily. As to others on YouTube will say, man, this water bottle is the best. Please go buy it. Here's a discount code, and and then they'll do this after that video. Okay. Never use it again. Right. Never use it again. Right. <laughs> I, as for me, if I tell you this Ozarka bottle is the best, you're gonna see it on my on my setup on my videos Monday through Friday because I believe in this product 100. percent Okay. What what you think about this? You know, a lot of detailers down my way they coming out with their own brand. Yep. It's already yeah, labeled. Yeah. It's all come, if it doesn't yeah. come from Renegade, it comes from yep. um what is it? There's Renegade. This there's is Industry random. something. They're all relabeled. It yep. unless you have the finances to truly go and get yourself a um no what do they call those people a, a, a product maker? Yeah. You got to have the money to really, but now it's becoming so accessible. L literally, a detailer starts their business three weeks ago, and next month they're saying, Man, I got my own product line, guys. Go come yeah. buy it. Right. But that all comes from the same same yeah. place. It like just 12, they just put the 12, label on it's like 1200 bucks, bro. This is $1, you $1, can pay $300. No, you can start with 300. Oh, look, even 300. Yeah. And so, is it worth send the you, money though? Whoop. Is it worth the money? But like you said, if you really want to, I wouldn't do it. Oh, you need a chemist, man. Kip, you need a chemist, yeah. I've had a lot of people tell me, like, "Hey, bro, when are you gonna come out with your own product line?" This is the reason why I haven't done it. Do I have the following? Expensive. Maybe, but well, yeah. the reason I don't do it is because it's so accessible now. I can literally call up three different companies and say, yeah. "Hey, man, I need an interior cleaner." All right, cool. Let's um bottle it up for you, bam, and I got a product line. Right. There's nothing different from this bottle to the next bottle to the next bottle. It just has their name. Right. Right. That's where it becomes very hard for me to say, like, you guys, this is the best thing, you know, because you have this other detailer down the road selling the exact same product. It just relabeled, you know, in order for me to truly say, all right, guys, I'm going to come out with a product line. I want it to be very authentic, something different about it. Like, you can look at that bottle or you can look at the chemical somewhere in there and say, like, this is definitely different. Right. Um, but we can't I'm, I'm not going to say, like, don't do it, because if that's something that you want to do, go for it. You just have to have a good presence to say, guys, hey, look, this is this is the best thing out there. Go buy it. Right. You've got to have presence. you got to have a lot of drive, because if you if especially if you're not known in the detailing community or the field, it's going to be very hard for you to sell a product. Right. Maybe you'll sell it to your customers. And that's as far as my, you might get. Because, you know, we're always looking for the next best thing. Yeah. But it's, it's happening right now that a lot of detailers are literally detailing three months in and then they just started their own product line. And it's like, yeah. bro, like, I've had, yeah, I've had them here doing it right now. Down here, I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. Nobody hustle. I know my salute all the, all the guys and all that. But I thought about it. But, man, what is this product be not what I like? You know what I'm saying? I want yeah. a thousand of dollars or something that don't do nothing i think it's just like the armor I think eventually the goal <laughs> is that's kind of where i want to go with starting my own product line but i think for me maybe it won't be chemical goal. chemical wise is going to be more of i love doing interiors so i'm always drawing out in my head and papers different types of tools that i was like man i think if we could kind of tweak it like this tweak it like this you know this would be a game changer for a lot of detailers right, right. um but you know those that's kind of my thought is if i was to ever come out with a product line it would be more of tools you know creating a different tool you know that this is going to help right and I've, I've been doing interiors for so long that it's like i can tell you when a product is going to work and a product ain't going to work right and you know it's just part of the game that the more you do this the more knowledge you become and, and you'll look at a tool like when you go to walmart I, I'm, I'm always thinking outside of the box and I'll grab t tools from Walmart, you know? Mm -hmm. I remember I didn't have brushes, wheel brushes. So what did I do? I went to the kitchen aisle. I grabbed their, um, <laughs> yeah. the ones that they used. To, I think it's to clean the, for the toilet. That's yeah. one. Um, if not, I use the ones for the, I think it's to clean the lint out of the dryers. Uh -huh. they, so I grabbed one of those. I bent it in half. And then that's what I would use to agitate, you know, like the wheel. Yeah. Um, but it's things like that that you have to think outside the box in a pinch where it's like, oh, shit, I don't have the money to go buy these wheel brushes. Right. Let me go to Walmart. Let me see what I find. Right. At one point, I used to put um, that toilet bowl 
and then I will cut my microfiber, and then I would put the microfiber around the um, toilet bowl with uh, rubber bands, and then I would agitate the wheels, the interface, so that I wouldn't scratch them, you know, and that's how I would clean wheels. So it's things like that that I look at that it's like in a pinch, I'm going to go to Walmart, and I'm going to make it happen. Right. What, what, guys, uh, what do you mean, these kind of shorts? Your own brand, or you got, like, a specific shorts? To, like, what do you mean? Like, that's your own? Shorts. Maybe maybe um, clothes. I have a new detailing shorts. Hey, I'm down to buy some detailing shorts. Hey. <laughs> Probably like an apparel line. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Always need shorts for detailing. Right. Make right. Go in a wind, windbreaker style. <laughs> Man, for real. Real. <laughs> yeah. As long as it's orange. Like if it's orange, I will I will buy it or send it to me and I'll post it up here. I know how to get Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if it's orange, bro, it's, 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 it's probably going to get bought. I run into a lot of issue with that because if it's orange, it's, it's, it's going to get, I got to yeah. buy it. Yeah, I got something coming with the, with, with the, with the merch, but you know, when it comes, I'll let you guys know. For sure, for yeah, sure, man. For sure. I support yeah. it. Definitely. <laughs> Bottle holder, ceramic holder, rag holder. I guess he's going to come out with his own product line by the looks yeah. of it. Oh, okay. Oh, where, where, where? Virgin's mobile car wash. I think, let me see if I follow him. If I don't, I, I think it is. So he's he's already. Me, my own little store, and and you know I mean, I was just like, you know what, I, I don't got time for this, bro. Like, the online store, I don't got time for that. Shipping the products out, and, too much. I'm like, yeah, I don't got time for it. So I just I had to back down, and the guy was willing to send me a full store free, but that's true. It's just like, yo, I can't, I can't do all that right now, man. I got too much going on, brother. Yeah. <laughs> I got too much going on. I can't even worry about a store right now, so much, but that's, that's a lot of in this work, yeah. yeah. It's a lot of work, bro. Keep it going. Uh, stay consistent. It's designed with it. cool. just for detailers. Nice. Okay. Nice. Okay. Work. 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 Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. I got to see how this one come out. Work. So next Monday, what time are you getting on here, guys? Same time, eight o'clock. Oh, uh, is every Monday? I'll be ready oh, next. Awesome. I'll be ready next Monday. So yeah. I'm uh, gonna log talk. off. I'm gonna be watching. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm gonna log off, but I'm gonna be watching here. Um. But yeah, it was, it was a pleasure being on here, guys. Yeah, it's a pleasure to meet you, brothers, too, man. I'll see yeah, you bro. Next Monday. All right. Yeah. Have a good one. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Next, first, next Monday, we do it again. Jump oh, on. Yeah. Jump on real fast. Uh, send me the life before we end it. We got we got five more minutes left. Oh, yeah. Oh. Jump on, bro. Send me the request. Uh, let me see. Hey, I got a bunch of guys here in Miami. Hey, oh, yeah. hey Jason, jump in. Yeah. Hey, hey, hit me. Send the love. Oh, Here we go, Virgin. Let's see my boy Virgin. Oh, my Lux. You. Yo, 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 yo. Still working, still working, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just wanted to, um, like, explain about the shorts. I have a, I have a client that does designing for, like, 50 Cent, all those rappers. Yeah. So he designed like a lot of those adidas sneakers and stuff like that and um so we were talking the other day and i'm like yo i want to design like shorts just for detailers and he was like yeah we can do this and he was telling me i was telling him everything i would like the shorts to have nice. he was like yeah we can make all of that work you know nice. so um i was supposed to go sit with him the other day but last week was crazy with my birthday and all of that so um we got the, the the, the way how I want it, it's like lightweight, water resistant. Like, you know, sometimes when you're like in a car, you don't got to be going back every time to the truck for stuff. So like, you know, we have like folders for like the spray bottles, yeah. detailing yeah. brush holders, like, you know, a lot of those stuff, bro. Yeah, I, 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 I was about to buy a tool belt, so that'll be dope where I could have my shorts, where I could hold my, right. my brushes. My we were, right, right, uh, right. Maybe, so, maybe and it's gonna be light, lightweight, water resistant, and like cooling system. So it doesn't matter how hot it is outside; you won't even nice. feel it. You know. Nice. Nice. Yeah. That's so, That's so it's dope. coming soon. I just just need to sit with him and um design it. Then after that, it's just straight. He's gonna sew it everything. Then we get the mock up. Then yeah. you know, start it's it in the market. <laughs> yeah. I was talking like they make stuff for. 
um, carpenters, they make stuff for road work people, all of that, but they don't have nothing for detailers, you know? Right. So we need to start um, our own stuff. So I was thinking the That's charts true. would be really good. That's, That's charts, true. The charts, That's like, yeah, then after that, we can you know, expand to, like, the pants and, like, tops and stuff like that. But the shorts, I'm trying try to have even those, even though, like a little a little pocket for like you know when you do ceramic coating job you have the you have it right there, you know you can like put the bottle right there yeah, and you yeah. know yes yes yeah 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 so Perfect. we're gonna design all of that all of that we're gonna design for cool. um coming soon so oh, by the by this oh, cool. by the summer it's gonna be out trust me. Ooh. Nice nice nice. So, so yeah and and oh another thing he said he could put in it like for people who like want their logos like when the water touch it. It like brings up your logo on the shorts. Oh, fire. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So whenever the water touch and whenever it's dry, you don't see it. But if the water touch it, like your logo, fire. Show up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh. we're going to do all of that. My boy say, yeah, knee pads on the pants is different. Yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. oh shit. Yeah. Fire. yeah, maybe nice. maybe we can make something. Yeah, I'm a, I didn't even thought about that. I didn't yeah, I thought about yeah. that. Yeah, like Carlos. Carlos is. De -de 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 -de. Oh. Hey, yeah. All right. <laughs> 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 I wear the volleyball. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have every size. We're gonna have large, extra large, medium, small. That's fine. But we're gonna start off with standard right. colors first, though, like you know, black, blue. Right. You know. Right. right. Yeah, but. Yeah, right. This dude, this dude, this designer dude, he's crazy. Crazy. Right. He make hoodie that can turn in a backpack. He do some crazy stuff. Nice. Crazy, crazy wow. stuff. So, so I'm going to sit with him and we're going to do the, the, um, the detailer shorts. That's for detailers, man. So we have right. our own shorts out here. That's fire. Yeah. yeah I got something new. So, <laughs> I mean, any ideas, you know, we can always add to it after we start it or whatever. Right. You That's know? So yeah, I was just talking to him about it last week, and he told me just come up, have a drink, and you know, where, where, we where? design it. He pull out his his um his computer or whatever, and we design it right away. Yeah. All we want it. He said he can put anything we want on it, anything. Look, Carlos said orange. My boy said black and yellow. Yeah, listen, we're gonna discuss it more on here one touch. You know, we always link up or whatever. Of course, of course, you know? of course. You know, so. Yeah. You guys look out for that one. Look out for that one. The shorts That's what we do. Gonna come. Yep. Because you know sometimes, sometimes even the bottle holder. Sometimes I have to like put it on my pocket. Yeah. To hold it. You know what I'm saying? So far like, like, like I put my rag like in my shorts and I just right. take it down. Right. So we're gonna design. We're gonna design something that have a clip to like hold the rag. Mm. And we're gonna design right. something for the um the detail in brush. Like probably like one or two. Like three little slots. Know? Right, we just drop your detail and brush inside of right. it and stuff like that. So and then like a little, I, little clip, like a clip my little said, clip. Right, rag. you can clip your rag, right? Stuff like that. And um yeah. yeah. And 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 the ceramic coating for, for, for who uses like um G technique and stuff like that, the ceramic coat that you just dip and like use a tweezer. Yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna have a slot for ceramic coating and stuff like that. Right. And I'm gonna try try to make it um the material um cool so if it's like a hundred outside you're not feeling it on your body with the short you know oh, that's and it's gonna be water resistant too that's nice yeah yeah so right hopefully 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 you guys like it whenever whenever we um design it that's gonna be dope yeah yeah so i'm um, trying to keep it like knee height nothing way down like you know what i'm saying on they're gonna <laughs> online huh and they're gonna sell it online yeah, yeah, I'm gonna sell it online. I'm gonna start selling That's it. You're cool. gonna see it. You're gonna see yeah. it. Yeah, because I like some and... and stuff, but I only wear basketball shorts. Right, right, <laughs> right, right. I, I wear I wear like Nike shorts. Back in the but, days, uh, I used to wear Dickies. <laughs> right. So we're gonna design you know, something Dickies, light, right? something 